Very soon, one of the final pieces will be put on top of the brand new Freedom Tower in Lower Manhattan. There it is right over there. That's a live picture. That piece will be at the very top of the tallest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere, and it came to life in Meriden. News H. Josh Scheinblum spent tonight uh, with some people who designed that lofty piece of history. He's live in News 8 Control with more. Josh. Darren, World Trade Center 1 is 1,776 feet tall, and at the top will be a series of devices you might say were born in Connecticut. Okay. 19 is good. 19 is good. At a company called Radio Frequency Systems in Meriden. One more. Large telecommunication antennas are tested. We have some modifications we can make. And designed. Right. That signal is good. Their structures adorn the tops of skyscrapers all over the world. But what has workers here talking? This thing right here is how you start to build an antenna uh, using software systems. Is a project they've been laboring over since September 2015. This is where our antenna is born. A three-piece set that will later this season be installed atop One World Trade Center in New York City. I served in the military, so I have a special connection. I understand that it's important to serve your nation, and I feel like I'm continuing that service, building antennas. Raymond Testo is a project manager for the company. So I think it's a, a great, great story to be on the right side of history when you're bringing broadcast back to the One World Trade Towers. Um, and, you know, being part of that for me is very patriotic and inspiring. Inspiring for all those who had a hand in its creation. Raymond says he was a part of a team of around 15 people from Connecticut who helped make this idea a reality. And I, I know I speak for my team when I tell you that they're also very proud. The antenna itself was built half a world away in Australia and is currently being shipped to Manhattan. And if you are hoping to buy one, uh, you better bring your purse. The cost is in the millions, but Raymond insists its role is to be more than just an expensive piece of symbolism. It will soon be performing a job of vital importance for people in that area. So the antenna is going to allow broadcasters to broadcast their message to their customers, make sure they're getting the news and all their favorite stations. Construction of One World Trade Center began back in 2006. For now, we're live at News 8 Control, Josh Schenglum, News 8.